It's not easy to find the sun in Lordran, and when you do see it, who's to say it's real? The age of fire is ending, and the world is already dark. Logan believes that there are no gods, no transcendence, only power. To become a god is simply to find that power. The lords found their powers amongst the first flame and proclaimed themselves to be gods. But as the flame fades, the lords must rely on illusions instead of power until new fuel for the flame is found. As Gwyn burns in his tomb, Gwyndolin and Frampt search desperately for someone to replace him, to maintain their age of light a little longer. So there reminds me of the legend of Icarus. Icarus is granted wings and uses them to chase the sun, but he flies too close and falls to his death. Solaire has limitless ambition and strives to obtain the sun as well, but he too runs the risk of flying too close. It's hard to find the sun in Lordran, and the world is already dark. Perhaps Solaire is looking for a new light. There is a prophecy that comes from Solaire's homeland in Astora, a prophecy that sheds light on Solaire's quest. There is an old saying in my family, Thou who art undead art chosen. In thine exodus from the undead asylum, maketh pilgrimage to the land of ancient lords. When thou ringeth the bell of awakening, the fate of the undead thou shalt know. To fulfill the prophecy, you must be two things. You must be undead, and you must escape the asylum. Oscar became undead, and travelled to the asylum to become a part of the prophecy. You carry out his legacy. But Oscar was not the only one trying to become a part of the prophecy. Solaire also escaped the asylum. The way I see it, our fates appear to be intertwined, both undead, both imprisoned in the asylum, and now we both end up here, in a land brimming with hollows. Could that really be mere chance? I hardly think so. I became undead to pursue this. Soler's quest meant so much that he chose to become undead to fit the prophecy. So if you believe that you are the chosen undead, then you and Soler are on the same path, and your meeting was not chance, but fate. You can choose to believe that everything in your past led you here. But who was Soler before he became undead and met you? Gwyn, Lord of Sunlight, had three children. One was named Guinevere, who fled her father and Anne Orlando as the flame continued to fade. Another was Gwyndolin, born of the moon and raised as a daughter. Master of illusion, he maintains power in Anne Orlando through an illusion of his sister and a fake son. The identity of the third child is a mystery. All we know is that he was a god of war, but his foolishness led to the loss of something invaluable, and he had his god status rescinded. Statues were destroyed, and there are places where it is clear that there have been obvious efforts to remove all trace of him ever existing. But in a land far from Anolondo, near an altar dedicated to sunlight, there is one statue that remains. It's the statue of a woman holding a small child, a child wielding a sunlight straight sword. The same sword as Solaire. Soler never talks of the past, only of the future, only of finding his son. If he is the son of Gwyn, then he has fallen out of his father's graces. But who is Gwyn to take his powers away? Soler would have lost his status, and nothing more. Even though his equipment has no special powers, he travels through Lordran with little trouble, reaching Anolondo, Demon's Ruins, and Lost Isleth before you. It is said that the God of War still watches over his warriors. Soler crosses between worlds to help you take down your foes. In the end, it doesn't matter if Soler is the son of Gwyn. To the world, he's simply a friendly man who helps his comrades when they are in need. He is a man who gave everything he had to find something, despite looking like a fool. 
but after years of searching, his hope turns to despair. And his despair turns to madness. Defeated, Soler can light a flame of his own and return sunlight to the world. For the fire within Soler will burn the brightest of all. <laughs> 